Hello friends. Hello friends. La, uh, now in our previous class we have took the outline of the in the uh, outline of non neoplastic lesions present in the breast. So now in this chapter we'll mostly discuss about the all the. I'm sorry. We'll discuss about all the inflammatory lesions. As you can see, there are mainly three major types of lesions in the breast. So right now today we will discuss about the inflammatory lesions of the breast. right in this topic so first inflammations so what is inflammation of breast called breast is basically called as mast the other name of breast is mast so if we add itis to anything it becomes inflammatory region so it is called as mastitis right so the first one which we would learn here is acute mastitis and breast abscess this acute mastitis uh, is mainly caused by a pyogenic infection it is mainly a pyogenic infection this is caused during first few weeks of lactation right uh, so has i has said it is pyogenic means it, that, that means it is bacterial so which bacteria accumulate here it is mainly staphylococci and streptococci these enter breast through cracks through cracks and fissures in nipple in and these would activate or create localized acute inflammation which may progress into abscess and extensive necrosis and finally deposition of granulation tissue and fibrous scarring may occur scarring may result so this is what happens in acute mastitis you know acute mastitis is very common lesion in after pregnancy which most of them encounter so in acute uh, mastitis it is basically a pyogenic infection which is in the first few days of weeks of lactation right and the second lesion right now is I just make it. I try it here, and the second lesion here is granulomatous mastitis. As the name says, it is also an inflammatory lesion of the uh, breast, but it contains granulomatous tissue. Right. So it is basically of four types. Even here, this I'll draw a chart. One, two, three, four. Let me complete each and every one in detail right now. So the first lesion is systemic, non-infectious granuloma. granulomatous disease so this may be due to some other systemic lesion that is a person has some systemic lesion and that may uh, invade the breast tissue and result in granulomatous mastitis like uh, systemic sarcoidosis systemic sarcoidosis or vaginal granulomatosis vaginal granulomatosis is a disease of both Uh, lungs with manifestations in lungs and kidney, whereas systemic sarcoidosis is a disease with manifestations in basically uh, lungs, and it may be due to infections. So these infections uh, may again lead to um, they they may uh, infect the breast tissue. 
so tuberculosis uh, it is really very common in our country in india and this tuberculosis of breast may be sometimes misdiagnosed to be a breast cancer so how do this tubercle bacilli reach the breast it's simple the tubercle bacilli tb bacilli it reaches by uh, blood or lymphatic and it reaches breast right or direct spread or it may be also direct from the lungs from lungs it may spread directly and reaches the breast and in the breast it shows caseating granulomas which is a characteristic feature of uh, tb bacilli and these caseating granulomas um and the surface of the breast may show many discharging sinuses may be seen on the surface of the breast so this granulomatous mastitis if it's caused by an infection it is mostly or most probably it is caused by tb bacilli so the third one here is a uh, silicone breast implants these silicone breast implants are mainly implanted after mastectomy after mastectomy they are used uh, who have undergone mastectomy due to breast cancer they use this silicone breast implants for cosmetic reasons so these silicone breast implants they may leak because they contain silica right so they may leak into the surface of the breast or they may leak into oh, breast tissue and this leakage leads to chronic inflammation with uh, lymphocytes macrophages and a fibrous capsule may be formed surrounding it right so these are silicone breast implants these are used after mastectomy these may leak into the breast tissues into this tissues because uh, in the silic in the persons who have breast cancer mostly they remove the uh, breast and they implant it with silicone breast implants for cosmetic reasons right the fourth one is idiopathic the fourth one is idiopathic granulomatous mastitis as the name says it is not known the pathogenesis is not known right so this is granulomatous mastitis and the final one which i would i like to deal now in this class uh, is galactosil so this galactosil is a cystic dilatation a cystic dilatation of the ducts that is sorry the ducts which are originally like this they are dilated and this is galactosil right and this for this form this is a cyst cyst is a closed filled cavity so cystic dilatation of these ducts and the wall is thin walled and this cyst is filled with milky fluid right so this is galactosil so in this class we have completed half of the inflammatory chapters inflammatory topics one is acute mastitis and breast abscess the other one is granulomatous mastitis and the third one is galactosil 
in the next class we will learn about uh, the memory duct ectasia and fat necrosis okay then bye